In this video I'm going to be working out an individual derivative. We've got an f of x equals cosine x over cosecant x. All right, and you might initially look at this and go, oh, that's quotient, so I'm just going to do quotient rule. And um, you could very definitely do quotient rule on this. But if there is a way to rewrite that original function so that it makes the derivative easier, then it's worth your while to attempt to do that. So first off, what I'm going to do with this is I am going to attempt to rewrite it. And I want to rewrite it into a 1 over cosecant x times cosine x over 1. And all I did was just separate that numerator and denominator. But I did that because if you are you know, good with your trig identities, 1 over cosecant x is the same thing as sine x. So that's going to make my function f of x is equal to sine x times cosine x. Now the entire function right here becomes a product rule as opposed to that quotient rule and it's going to be a lot easier derivative to figure out from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this out with product rule. Alright, so f prime of x then is going to be the first which is sine x times the derivative of the second so d dx of cosine x plus the second cosine x times derivative d dx of sine. All right, and the only reason I usually put that in, even though it's something as simple as this, is that definitely clearly shows the product rule. And then if these derivatives were harder derivatives, derivatives that maybe possibly included chain rule, then you would clearly be able to see that chain and hopefully not forget it. Okay, so... Um, Continuing by actually doing the derivative here, I'm going to have a sine x and then times derivative of cosine there is going to be a negative sine x plus cosine x times derivative there of sine is going to be cosine x. Now if I rewrite that, I've got a couple cosines over here, sorry, a couple sines over here, a couple cosines over here, I'm going to have a negative sine squared x plus a cosine squared x. All right, and then we never ever want to leave a um, negative there in front. So then if I go ahead and just rearrange those terms so it looks a little neater here, I'm going to have a cosine squared x minus sine squared x. All right, and then if you're really good with your trig identities, if you're going to recall your uh, trig identities here, let's write it out we have got one that is cosine 2x is equal to cosine squared x minus sine squared x. All right, and so that's what we have right there. So then if you're really, really good with those, then you could even make that final substitution here, making the final derivative there a cosine of 2x. Okay, so preferred answer, but um, above that, you're still having an equivalent derivative there for that. So just a couple examples here. If you want to avoid that quotient rule, if at all possible, try to find some way to rewrite it. Most of the time, you're going to be able to rewrite it into a product rule. And it just seems like those product rules go a little bit smoother. So definitely, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.